Well, guys, there's 104 days of summer vacation and school's coming along just to end it. So hello there, everyone. Ash and Flash here. And welcome on into my Phineas and Ferb series. I can honestly tell you that I've never been so close to canceling a series before, not just because there's so much going on this week, and I've got another CMF series going on. I'm also promoting the Fall Guys Ideas project right now that we got hit before September 7th. There is so many things going on, and this series was almost canned. I'm not even kidding. Um, you know, I kept being encouraged to finish, and uh, I'm happy with the end result, but not when this is releasing. But uh, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the Phineas and Ferb series, which is perfect for the release of the brand new movie, Candace Against the Universe. Uh, a little late with this release, but anyways, anyways, spot number one is, of course, Phineas and Ferb. He's using the exact same piece that I designed for Justin and I's Disney Plus series. The torso colors changed because I was looking. It's more orange than yellows that I had in it actually originally. And the accessory that I gave him is actually the paintbrush and the palette from the opening of the show. And I just really like the recolors for those pieces and it just worked for him since he's already got a new mold, which is the case with a lot of these guys. None of them actually have brand new pieces for their accessories because they're all getting these brand new head molds and it's just the best way to do this like a face print wouldn't work uh, but next up of course we've got Ferb and he has his guitar from the opening as well and to note for him he's actually using mid legs to make him a little bit taller than Phineas. Third in the series is Perry the Platypus and uh, anyways he's here and this is his agent Perry the Platypus outfit I didn't want to I thought about making him just be like a piece like a pet and an accessory for someone, but I think him as a minifigure works really well, honestly. Him having short legs there, and he's got his beaver tail and his bill there in his brand new molded head with the fedora. And then also he's got a grappler there with uh, just being recolored in dark yellow with the grapple part being black. Fourth in the series is Dr. Heinz Doofensmertz. And uh, I love him. He's my favorite character, I think. As I was going back and like watching it and different things, he, he's the best. He's just, he's genuinely the best. No one tops him. No, no one ever comes close to topping him. But uh, he has a new mold, of course, for the head. I don't need to mention it every time. But he does have an innator. And uh, it, it's just an innator, you know? I didn't know what to do, what to color. It made it bright green to add color to the series, but of course his accessory there is Balloony. And uh, I, I apologize for the bad impression, but I just love him. I, I always say, if I could pick one impression that I could perfect and master, it would be for him. Cause he's just, he's just the best and the worst at the same time. But <laughs> spot number five, of course, she was very nearly same with uh, Doofenshmirtz. These two were so close to being in the Disney Plus series, but we didn't want it to make a Phineas and Ferb series. But Candace here. Candace actually comes with a one by two print there for her cell phone, very old cell phone. I know they modernize it, but I was just looking at some of the pictures and it's just so iconic. I had to give that as her accessory. It's just what I think of when I think of Candace like holding something like, I don't know. It's just so iconic. And she's using the mini skirt piece there in white with some printing. And then next up is Jeremy. And uh, I gave him Ducky from the Toy Story 4 set, but I actually gave it a brand new print for the eyes to make it Ducky Momo. So I thought that was cute because it could be like a gift that he's giving to Candace. Spot number seven, it's my least favorite in terms of execution in the whole series. Uh, I'm not too happy with her face. It took so long to figure out and I don't even know if I nailed it, but it's Isabella and I thought about giving her pinky but it wouldn't work because I Perry's not an accessory and I needed them to be the, it would have to pinky would have to be his own character so anyways she's here and uh, she does have let's say a separate bow piece that does attach at the top and then her accessory is actually the fireside girls handbook and I just love that book in that color I wish we could get that maybe we have I could be wrong about that but and she's also using the mini skirt piece there in hot pink eighth in the series is actually Baljeet and he has a 
two by three tile print of their coaster poster that they actually put up in the very first episode of Phineas and Ferb. So I thought that was a nice little reference to that episode there. I couldn't really think of anything for him, and uh, I'm happy with that accessory, I think. And then ninth in the series is Buford, and the face, I tried so hard with all these. Some of them, I think, work really well. Other ones... Not so much. He's like in the middle, but uh, he's using mid legs here because he is a bit taller than the rest of the the crew. And uh, anyways, his accessory is actually a bowl piece there with his fish printed on it there. I think that's what I associate, I think, with Buford. But next up, 10th in the series is Major Monogram. And oh my goodness, his accessory... <laughs> I just, I knew immediately that in some point in this series, I wanted to give someone uh, Doofenshmirtz's vacation photo, and I just, he was just the best one to do it, and, and I, I'm so happy with how he looks there. I think that that's a funny accessory for him. 11th in the series is Carl, and he actually has a 2x3, I guess it's like a tablet, but it's also like the exact same screen that Perry has in Perry's secret base. But uh, he's also using mid legs. And then last in the series, I know only 12, I'm sorry, but I just, the series was was not doing it for me and I needed to work on other things, but I think it's a solid series nonetheless. Anyway, 12th is Vanessa and uh, she had to be in the series and her accessory is actually one of the Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated bikes. And uh, yeah, I, I think that it works really well there in that coloring, but what do you guys think of this series? I kid you not, I had such a difficult time with this. I can list you off the four other characters that were planned for the series, uh, but I, it just I need to work on the Avengers series. And uh, a couple of the people were, of course, Linda and Lawrence, their parents. I also wanted to include Stacy. And then the last character was actually going to be Norm. And uh, so... Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that would have been the series, but unfortunately, I think that just sticking with these core characters, of course the mom I think is really a main character as well, but I just think that sticking with these 12, it works really well I think as a full series. Who knows, maybe I will return to this at some point. There are so many variants for the main characters that I would love to do, like the Fireside Girl outfit. I'd love to draw, but maybe for a Bricktober or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, everyone, this is actually the first CMF series that I'm releasing after hitting 100k, which is just crazy to look back at how this all started. You know, the first video being the incredible CMF series. And if I'm counting properly, this is my 70th series ever, which is pretty crazy. So anyways, if you're new, please consider subscribing. 73% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those people, please We'd love to have you. Anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this video and please consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on that other CMF series that we'll be releasing probably next week. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this and what did you think of the brand new movie? I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.